Yo, people, welcome back to the channel. Uh, yes, uh, all the new people, welcome everyone who's already subscribed. Welcome back. Yeah. Right now, we almost lost one of the greatest chefs in the world because um, Gordon Ramsay was in a in a crazy accident. I've already seen the, the video. I wanna just I just wanna hear what like um Charlie's takes on it because right now it's it's crazy, dog. That that the wound uh like like like. Yo, that's crazy. Yesterday, Gordon Ramsay jump scared everyone by revealing he'd been in a serious accident and said that the helmet he was wearing actually saved his life. And he also thanked the doctors and everyone that took care of him in the hospital from it. And basically, it's a message kind of urging everyone to wear a helmet when cycling. Hi guys, it's Gordon. Um, I'd like to share a very important message with you all. Um, you know how much I love cycling and triathlon. Okay, so... This I, I know that he's he's speaking about a message, but yeah, this right here is what is the main thing that I, I noticed like when I when I first watched the, this video from Gordon. Um, it's how his hands are shaking, bro. It's the that's 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 how the, the, that's probably the, the trauma from experiencing a na near death event. So yeah, I'd like to share a very important message with you all. Um, you know how much I love cycling and triathlons and Ironman, etc. Um, this week, unfortunately, I had a really bad accident, um, and it really shook me. And honestly, um, I'm lucky to be here. He really does seem shaken up by this whole experience here. When I think of Gordon Ramsay, I immediately think of him calling someone an idiot sandwich and yelling and screaming. So if I had heard that Gordon Ramsay got into a bike accident, I would immediately assume that he got off the bike, started shaking his fist at it and calling it a fucking donkey or something and <laughs> spitting on the bike. But then he'd... Yo, yo, and this... Yo, and this is why I said I wanted to see what Charlie's take on it. He, the dude freaking can paint some freaking pictures with the words that he says make you freaking literally imagine because i literally saw that in my head when he when he when he freaking described it <laughs> and it's yeah it's it's kind of like his wacky um way of um talking that's what i've, I've known since, from watching his videos um uh for however long i have been watching them i don't remember um so yeah it's very funny and it kind of brings some kind of, some little bit of comedy to a serious situation to make it, uh, yeah, probably more palatable. Walk away unscathed, unfazed, and throw a grilled cheese in the fireplace and just take a big old bite out of it. But in this case, that's just not what happened. Whatever the accident was, it really has taken some kind of toll on Gordon, and he's trying to educate people on the importance of helmets and how it actually saved his life. Now this is a lesson that people have heard a million times in their life. I'm pretty sure this has been taught more than the multiplication tables in elementary school. Everyone knows you should wear a helmet when yes. cycling. Yeah. But in current day and age, a lot of people just don't give a fuck about that anymore. They just kind of wipe their ass with safety for the sake of like convenience maybe. But yeah. in my area in particular, there's a ton of cyclists. They, they swarm and I almost never see any of them wearing helmets. Which I always find odd because what's the point in playing life on ultra nightmare mode? It takes like five additional seconds to just throw on a helmet real quick and it could be a game changer. To me, the risk versus... True, cool, true. Cool. Like, yo. Yeah. That's, that's true. That's true. Um, people, just for the smallest inf inconvenience. Some people are stupid enough to do that for, for to not wear a helmet for, for not, for a stupid reason like how they look like it's your life how you look doesn't matter but yeah some people have that type of delusional reasoning reward ratio here's all cattywampus it's not computing up here i don't see why you wouldn't just wear a helmet to be safe it's not like you get some kind of like additional benefit out of not wearing one so i i, I don't really understand it but I'm not your fucking dad. If you want to go out there without a helmet on and I see you on the sidewalk, I'm not going to slam on my brake and drift my car in sideways so I'll get out and start, you know, giving you a spanking and telling you that you're being naughty for not wearing a helmet. That's fucking your choice to make, I suppose. I think it's a silly one, though. And I really appreciate it's that Gordon Ramsay's coming forward and using his platform to just try and educate people again on how important a helmet is and how it can actually save your life. Now, from those incredible trauma surgeons, doctors, nurses in the hospital that looked after me this week, 
they were amazing. But honestly, you've got to wear a helmet. Um, I don't care how short the journey is. I don't care, you know, the fact that these helmets cost money, but they're crucial. Even with the kids, a short journey, they've got to wear a helmet. Now, I'm lucky to be standing here. I'm in pain, it's been a brutal week, and I'm sort of getting through it. Yeah, but, um, that, and that is it. I'm only seeing this the second time. I'm not going to keep it on the screen too long just because of YouTube, for, for YouTube's sake. So, I so, uh, so um, yo, that right there just really lets it sink in. Like, let you get the understanding of why these safety um, equipments were produced <laughs> for the activity that you are about to take part in. To save yourself. Yo, yo, um, uh, the, the, uh, the PPE, what, personal protective equipment or, or gear or stuff like that. Yo, they are there for a reason and it's to prevent you from dying. And uh, a lot of people don't, don't, um, don't freaking take it seriously because, I, I, again, inconvenience and stupid reasoning because of how they look. But don't risk your life over, over a simple choice that you can make or over, or over a minor inconvenience. I'll tell you the importance of wearing a helmet. That is a gnarly bruise right there. Calling that a bruise is doing it a disservice. When I bang my knee on this desk when I get excited, I'll sometimes bruise. Yeah. That is like you got hit by five sledgehammers. That looks like the damage you would suffer if one punch man accidentally flicked you in the oblique. That is a... <laughs> I accidentally flicked you, accidentally let the wind pressure off his, off, off his finger graze you. <laughs> crazy amount of bruising I, like i don't know how he's standing yeah. this weekend is massive it's father's day um for new fathers old fathers middle-aged fathers i want to wish you all a very happy father's day but please 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 wear a helmet because yeah if i didn't honestly i wouldn't be here now happy father's day an unexpected and that's right there yo right there Oh, that's crazy. Before I, I listen to what uh, um, um, Charlie has to say, but right there, he put that out uh, um, to, to get a message out there to remember the people that, you, you, that, uh, that are close to you, that are precious to you, that would freaking cry if you are gone, if you don't take the proper steps to protect yourself whenever you're either riding um, recreationally or for are commuting to work or something like that so always wear your personal protective equipment yes helmets knee pads uh shin guards uh, some some people even have freaking biking suits when they ride motor motorcycles you know and stuff like that video from gordon ramsay but an appreciated one like he's just sharing his first-hand experience here with something traumatic that he went through and how he believes his life was saved thanks to that helmet and, of course, the doctors and everyone at the hospital that treated him and just trying to spread that message. And I think that is nothing but two big thumbs up for me there. But Twitter is a different story. What? Twitter ghouls have this impressive ability, almost like an X-Men level mutation here. It's almost a superpower to find the stupidest spins on even the most cut and dry situations. Yo, I was going to end the video right there because I don't want to end up on freaking Dark, dark Viper's bad side. <laughs> I'm, pro I'm probably already teetering already by freaking reacting to the entire video. But dang, Twitter, <laughs> a special place where all the insane people are, I'm telling you. But dang, yo, let's go, let's go. Let's hear, let's hear what the freaking um, crazies have to say. Something as simple as, hey, wearing a helmet's good to keep you safe. Maybe you might want to think about doing that. They find a way to turn it into something bad. One intellectual powerhouse replied to Gordon's video saying, complete shite, Gordon. And then he dropped this fat little nugget of wisdom here, which is a graph that shows death per billions of kilometers cycled versus the helmet wearing rate percentage of these regions. Imagine being... Yes, you drop a graph and uh, you're just like, like, uh, the dude is giving his personal account and freaking, and in that you expect him to give 
from his point of view how he felt that the helmet saved his life and then you're going to pull up a freaking graph the schematics are uh, statistics <laughs> i say schematics but statistics about just to freaking prove a, 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 an, an unnecessary point bro <sighs> yo oh i don't want to continue this video anymore people but let's hear what charlie has to say being the loveless loser who comes in here going ballistic because a guy who almost lost his life is talking about how a helmet <laughs> might have saved it. Now this individual isn't the only one fighting back against Big Helmet here, but he is by <laughs> far the most adamant. He is tooth and nail in the trenches, still replying as of me making this video like 18 hours later it seems. So he is definitely their fiercest warrior opposed to helmets. Now he makes arguments that helmets do nothing to mitigate serious injury. They only help with like scrapes and bruises maybe, but doesn't actually do anything to contribute to cycling safety and calls them an unnecessary distraction. And then says the big issue that needs to be addressed is fixing infrastructure and driver policing. Now let's say Gordon Ramsay subscribed to this guy's belief system. He'd be dead. If he viewed helmets as an unnecessary distraction, Gordon Ramsay would be six feet under right now, fucking making risottos up in heaven. So, legitimately, he is just wrong about them being an un unnecessary distraction. In the situation Gordon Ramsay is describing, without that helmet, he wouldn't have survived. I also just don't understand what it's a distraction from. Is it distracting you from <laughs> sending your 4,000th tweet in the last 24 hours? Like, how is it an unnecessary distraction? It takes fucking five seconds to put a helmet on and it does yes. help keep you a bit safer of course it doesn't solve every problem magically nobody is saying it does he's fighting a ghost here in the comments he <laughs> shadow boxing shadow boxing <laughs> yo yo um yo yes yo people i don't want to use the entirety of freaking charlie's video bro right now <laughs> yo he makes it entertaining by including those twitter comments I, that was Twitter replies and shit. Uh, but stupid people gonna still be stupid people. You can tell them from personal account, they're not gonna understand until it's them in the situation. And uh, by then it might be too late. Yes, and uh, good riddance. You know, yeah, I know it's bad to say that. The lawyer says to love your, 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 your neighbor equally. Yeah. But dang. They, they just gonna filter themselves out. You know, filter themselves out. Natural selection. The stupidity is going to naturally get them out of the, the next generation <laughs> more are gonna spawn in but yeah but the, <laughs> the natural selection is gonna get rid of most of them but yeah people this is it for the video go and watch the rest of the video the link is in my description and if you made it this far in the video i appreciate you and i thank you for watching yes and i would very much like appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out you know more than you know more than you know well, yeah, guys, if you're already subscribed, I also appreciate you. Yes. And stay safe out there. Yes. <laughs> stay safe out there. Make sure you take the proper steps to protect yourself. And it's Wolf. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, Itekimasu. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs>